and good evening, everyone. For Welcome to a hockey night here in Upper St. Clair. Your Panthers varsity will take on the State College team. Panthers sporting a 2-3 and three record. Coming off a win at home against Bethel Park last week. Panthers traveling right to left on your TV dial in their home whites. And I am thinking that's a, a, a black and white, trimmed maybe a little in green or gray for the State College team. I'm Kirk Karoop on your High Definition Panthers television network, flanked by Dave Ambrose on the camera. And it is very, very cold, a winter night inside the rink, if you will, too. Taken by Pencrot, he's just gonna chip it back to the center ice area and that'll go through the defense. Icing will be waved off where it'll be played by number 10, uh, Engelhart. Play comes back to center where Pencrot will look to chase up and that'll go the length of the ice. He'll be helped out by Olibrand, number 33, who'll clear it around the far board. Play comes back to center. Can be taken there by McCombs, who have a little outlet pass to Boyd. Good seeing Boyd back after, I believe, serving a one-game suspension. Good defensive effort there by Alibrand and assistant captain, and that's how you play the body, folks. Defense 101 there. Going to be helped out here by Boyd. Good young player here for the Panthers. First year on the varsity team. Taken all the way back by number 24, uh, Marsala. He's going to chip it back to center, and that pass will go past the mark of number 19, Holdcroft, and they'll be guilty of an icing play, and with 13.02 remaining here in the first, we're scoreless. Face-off going to be taken by Leiden, controlled by the Panthers. A centering effort there is going to go by the mark. Be picked up here by number 58, Jared Karras. He's going to shoot it on, and a good save by goaltender number 29, Mike Stein, and he'll get the call tonight. And we'll have to get a look at the number over there for State College. Not sure who is in goal for the... State College team. Shot right on from the high slot and a good right pad save there by Stein and he'll kick it into the corner where he'll be helped out by number 40, Woomer. He's gonna redirect that to the near board and a good play by Cassidy, but he's unable to get it out. Kept in by the uh, right point by uh, Lucas Michael, number 78. Gonna be picked up again here by Woomer. Sweeney will be back to help his defense. Comes into the corner where number 25 will tie it up, Karras. Once again, back to the left point here, and we're going to have a whistle here. Looks like we're going to have penalty time doled out here. That first minor penalty is going to come at the 12-13 mark here in the first. And Sweeney's going to get the gate. Two minutes for a hooking call. And the Panthers will find themselves shorthanded for the next two minutes. Good face-off win there by Boyd, and he'll redirect that into the corner where Alibrand's unable to control, gathered in by State College. Play comes around to the near board when the command position where Horgus tries it. Deflection in front, kick back and not out. Good play there by number 91 for the Panthers, Ackerman. Play goes across to the far board and a good effort there. Here comes a little mini breakaway. Number 91, Ackerman's going to come down. Oh, he goes to the backhand and he's going to be pulled down. And we're going to have a two-minute minor penalty here of their own. State College will be guilty of a hooking minor penalty. And they'll even it up with 11.35 remaining here in the first. Panthers will skate four on four for the next minute 22 and the Panthers will go on a power play of their own for the remaining 38 seconds. Minor penalty will be dished out to number four, Dalton Brown, two minute minor for slashing.
four on four hockey, the old Wayne Gretzky roll, the open ice. Play will come behind the goaltender. And I believe that is Mac Ross, number 12 in goal for State College. Play dumped in behind Stein where it'll be redirected into the corner here and a deflection in, oh my, and a good save there by Stein and that was a, looked like a high deflection above the shoulders but nothing called. Cassidy's gonna come right back on the break and he shoots it, oh my, rebound right in front, Alibris score! And you'd have to be here to believe that shot. Alibran's gonna pick the pocket and he rams it home, top shelf, and a big time goal at even strength, Dave, so that's big time for the Panthers, and they're gonna jump to that early one nothing lead. Wow, brilliant move by Cassidy. Great young Upper St. Clair player, and he beat three players coming down, shot it off the shoulder of the goaltender. Rebound came right back in front where Alibran made no doubt about it from 15 in the high slot, and he's gonna get a tally to get the Panthers off to that early one nothing lead. So it's going to be redirected by Stein into the corner with 10 and a half to go here in the first. Arista right on, another good save by Stein. State College skating with here a little bit of sense of urgency here. Panthers have played extremely well here at home this season. Battled a little bit on the road here. Going to be taken here by number four Crockett and he'll decide to cross the red stripe and dump that down deep behind goaltender Mack. Mac Ross played in the corner, unable to control with Sweeney. Shot right on, redirected. All oh, rebounds loose in front. And Sweeney on the doorstep by a great shot from the left point by Schmidt. And a good exchange here. And the Panthers almost get their second tally here in the first. Panthers again now on a power play for the remaining 19 seconds. And we'll skate five on four. Face off controlled by State College and they'll try to redirect it but unable to control taken by Puccetti and he's able to redirect that into the corner where Schmidt will gamble, be careful here. Taken back and head man tries to get the play to himself and a good heads up play there by Stein and he'll cover up. And that'll do it folks for the short man advantage for the Panthers and we'll be back to skating even strength here five on five with 9.34 to go here in the first. A good face-off win there by Sweeney deep down, and he's going to take it to Cassidy, where that'll come off actually his blade. And we're going to have a nine-iron shot right into the rafters, and they'll tee it up again. And they'll take that face-off to the left of goaltender Stein. Another uh, very, very easy face-off win by Sweeney. But the Panthers unable to get it out, and a shot's going to go way wide by the left point. Sweeney all over the ice here. Oh, big check there by Alibran, and he's dishing out checks like the first of the month. And the other player tries to retaliate against Sweeney, but picked the wrong target there in big num number 97. Alibran, a big physical force out there. Going to be redirected where the Panthers look to change. Going to be taken down deep by, oh, another giveaway here, and that's going to be deflected on where Cassidy will look to center the play. He does the Leiden. He gets a good effort, and boy, Cassidy once again the playmaker here all over the ice. Taken by Pencrot. A big drive goes way wide. Olibrand's going to cheat on the right side, and a good play to keep it, and he's going to take a wrister and just misses the upper corner, and that's going to hit the meshing. And a good play again by number 33. Dominant player here for the first six minutes of the uh, contest here. Panthers send out some new troops. Face off will be taken and controlled by State College where it'll be chipped out by Brown. To go on the left wing, a shot right on and a good save again by Stein as he watched his angles. And he's gonna hold on and 8-10 now will remain in the first. And a pretty quick 
moving first period. State College happens to be second in section four with sporting a four and one record here. And their division is with Penn Trafford, Norwin, and Hempfield. Panthers battling in last place in division section one. But again, we've got a pretty demanding tough division with Cannon Mack on top, seven and zero. Oh. Good shot again, saved by the uh, goaltender Stein here. Peters Township 4 and 0 and Bethel Park with 3 5 uh, 3 5 and 0 record. Another deflection right on and another good save by Stein. Seeing the puck extremely well here tonight. State College with the better of the play the last 2 minutes. Another deflection in front's going to whistle wide. Going to be dumped back behind the goal by number uh, 8 uh, Horgus. Centering pass and oh and he's pulled down and a good call. Ackerman's pulled right off his skates, and again, we're going to have Horgus guilty of a minor penalty here, and he's going to get the gate with 7.18 remaining here on a holding minor, and the Panthers will go on their second power play of the evening. Just like the big gun scoring leaders, State College also has uh, top two uh, out of 10 scores, and uh, Stefan Horgus, the uh, player that was guilty of the minor penalty, is one of the top scorers with five games played, six goals and six assists with 12 points on the season. But their big gun is second in the PIHL, Daniel Moscone, number 86, five games played with an impressive 11 goal, six assists, 17 point campaign. Still loose in the front, Panthers again, another golden opportunity. Sweeney with a brilliant effort at the left point to keep that play in. He's going to be helped out by Ackerman. Play comes to the far board where it's going to be a give and go. Nice play on the off wing. Shot right on. Oh my, and a golden opportunity. And the goaltender got the right pad down at the last minute. Mac Ross still all up for St. Clair here. Alibrand's going to come off his blade and State College will clear it the length of the ice and they'll go on a wholesale change of their own. One minute remaining in the man advantage, 6-17 in the first period. Cassidy will lead the rush. Oh, and a giveaway here, be careful. Moscone with a good drive and a big save there on a shorthanded situation. And the Panthers dodge a bullet there with their big captain here. And boy, can he skate, number 86. We'll be calling his name a lot. Taken back again by Cassidy, and he's going to miss a check at center. Gathered back in by State College, where chipped to center, and Sweeney's going to have to wait till Ackerman's on side, but he doesn't. And a quick whistle here with 28 seconds remaining in the power play, and we'll face it off just outside the blue stripe for State College. Panthers will send out Leiden, he'll take the draw, and he's got Crockett and Verdoni on the other wing. Oh my, nice play there by Crockett as he tried to kick it to the slot where Baradoni would have played it. Back to the right point where Pencrot will decide, left shot, handed shot on the right point. Tries to take a power move. That play will come back to the point and a good play by Woomer to keep it in. Penalty has expired. Centering pass goes by the mark and a slap shot's deflected in. Another Panther pulled Don Lydon in front, nothing called. And State College just content to clear it the length of the ice. And I don't know why icing wasn't called there, but Panthers now will have to play it where number 16 Pencrot will lead the rush out. Penalty time had expired. Maybe the official and referee thought that the shorthanded situation was still in effect. Going to be taken here by number 17, uh, Yeepel. And we're going to have a whistle here, and we'll have a face-off at the neutral ice area with 4.42 remaining here in the first. Panthers lead one to nothing. Panthers having the early advantage here with faceoff controls. They're going to lose it 
at center where State College will corral it. They'll dump it behind goaltender Stein where number 21 Schmidt will look to play the puck in the corner and he's going to lose his edge. Good play by Ackerman as he'll try to help out. Deflection again in front is going to go by the mark of Stein. Picked up by Woomer and he'll take the backhanded wood to it. Unable to get it out. Panthers will skate back to center. And he'll shoot at the length of the ice but unfortunately be guilty of an icing. And we'll do it all over back in the attack zone for State College. Well, the keys to the game, as I've always said with the Panthers, that early first goal usually seems to play very, very well. Panthers, I think, skate with a little bit better confidence when they get that early lead. And I think this next goal will be key, too. Good save there again by Stein. And he gets the left paw out, and with an even four minutes to go, we'll do it again. Well, Panthers get, got away here, Dave, with a real late change here. Referee was ready to blow the uh, drop the puck, and sometimes they'll flag those kids back to the bench, but the home team gets the last change, as you well know. And Sweeney's line will come out here with Cassidy and Puccetti on the right wing. Good move there by Sweeney to avoid a check. And he's looking to center, and he's going to be pulled off the blade. Taken back to center ice will be number four, um, um, Brown. Play comes off of Schmidt's blade into the corner where Puccetti will look to play it. Tries to avoid Moscone and another giveaway here at center. And boy, State College taking a lot of chances, sending four men in and keeping one back. Probably just a matter of time before the Panthers get an odd man break here. Taken into the far corner and that'll play will get around Olibrand here. And good play by Sweeney to get back into play. And we got an offside play here where Moscone will take it in ahead of the play. And we'll have a whistle with 3.08 remaining in the first. Faceoff taken and controlled by the Panthers. Little outlet pass to Alibran, and he'll outlet it over on the corner to Cassidy, and he takes a heavy hit in the corner, shot right on by Sweeney, and a good save by Ross, and he'll hold on, and we'll have a faceoff this time to the left of the State College goaltender. Big face-off win there by Sweeney. Rebound shot. Oh, it's loose, and he gets the paw out right at the last minute. And the Panthers with a golden opportunity. I think that was Cassidy that took the wrister from five. And, boy, it trickled on the doorstep. And a quick behind-the-back save by goaltender number 12, Mac Ross. And we may look back on that one, folks. Boy, I tell you, Sweeney's looked very impressive this year on the faceoffs. He's not just winning them, he's winning them in domination style. And boy, does that bode well when you're on the power play. A good centering effort there by Ackerman, but unable to control and block by the defense. Come back to the point where Alibrand will look to play it. Taken by Holdcroft, and he's going to be checked off the play. And right back on the attack comes the big number one line here. And oh boy, Sweeney. Just ragged the puck a little bit, one too many moves at the blue line, but he was definitely, Cassidy was in ahead of the play. And icing and faceoff for an offside will come outside the zone with 2.20 remaining here in the first. Well, it comes back to center. It's gathered in by number 17, Ayeepel. He checked off the play neatly by number 21, Schmidt, but still controlled by State College and a wrister from 20. And Stein commanding physical presence 
Makes an easy save against the chest and he'll hold on. And it looks like State College wants to make another quick change. Now oh, these this team and uh, the team up north, Erie McDowell and Meadville are my put them on the bus back on Route 22 and I-79. So hopefully the Panthers can make that two and a half hour journey home all the more painful with a victory here tonight against State College. Good shot on, good save. It's bad enough to drive on 22, but when you have a loss associated with it, it makes it probably even a little bit more tougher. Oh, shot right on by Moscone, and boy, he, he did that all himself. He won the draw, spun around in a circle, and wristed it, and Stein was in the butterfly position, and a good save right back on the attack is Leiden, and boy, did he pick up some speed in the offseason. Oh, shot right on by Crockett, and that'll just go off the left pad of goaltender Ross. Play comes back to center where it'll be gathered in by Baradoni and comes off his blade right back to the state college player, but they'll be guilty of an icing play here. And with 110 remaining here, they'll face it off to the left of the state college goaltender. My apologies, it's Baradone, but I threw a little Italian in on it. Face off controlled and again neatly by the Panthers. Oh, and a good stick to glove save there by Ross and he'll hold on. Boy, Panthers again dominating faceoffs here early in the first. Yeah, sure is. Boy, a great young player here too. We're really blessed to have a couple big players and new players in Cassidy and Boyd and Puchetti and nice to see. Leo with 53 seconds come back to Alibran. Gonna kick that off where McCombs looks to play it. Another new player taken here right back on the attack comes number gets number 15 Ruby Centering pass goes by the mark and gathered in by Alibran. 31 seconds remaining. McCombs tries to get it out and he'll do so ahead to Ackerman. He'll pick up a head of steam on his off wing. Chips it behind the goal and a Panther pulled down. Nothing called. Boyd goes to the ice. Good play by McCombs there as he used the, the body to keep that in. Back to the left point where Pencrot will play it. And with five seconds to go, that should do it here, folks. And the Panthers will get out of Dodge with 15 minutes in the books and enjoy a one nothing lead. Okay, we're gonna pause for one minute. We'll be right back. And we're back on the air with second period action. Another face off win by Sweeney, batting a hundred percent. Takes it down the right wing off the center. Oh, shot right on. And boy, I'll tell you, another good opportunity there. And Cassidy was right there for a rebound and just went under his blade. Sweeney skating with a little bit of a mission here tonight. Good play there by Puccetti as he tries to step up between two defenders, but unable to control. And it'll be banked in by the State College player where the forward will get to it. And he'll beat Alibran. And boy, is he just a physical force here today, Alibran, our lone goal scorer, and boy, just really, really taking the play to the def on the defensive side. Good play there, Puchetti's gonna pass it to himself, taken by Sweeney, it's loose in front, backhanded, oh my, just goes by the mark. And a good scoring effort there for the Panthers, where it'll be corralled by number 16, Pencrot. He's gonna gather it back in here, and a good on-stride pass right to number 97, Sweeney. And he'll get the Jets going, and a big wide-angle shot comes right on. Oh, and a centering pass in front to Cassidy, and nobody home. And boy, another golden opportunity for the Panthers. Body. 
He sure is, Dave. A good point here. A lot of rebounds. Matter of fact, that first goal, Dave, came on a rebound that was kicked right out in front back to Alibrand on a good play by Cassidy. Shot there by Moscone and a good save there. And he used, the boy, to Moscone's credit there, he used the defense to screen Stein. And Stein came up with a big pad and glove save of his own. And quick moving, exciting action in the first minute and a half here of the second period. Nice off taken and kicked around the corner where Rumor tried to play it. It'll come out to number 21, Schmidt. He'll bank it back to center where it goes to the defense of Marsala, and that'll hit a body on the bench, and we'll do it again. And a faceoff will be at center with 13-14 remaining in the second. Well, Panthers finally lose a faceoff here, but they gain control right back to Schmidt, and he'll look to pass it to ahead to McCombs, and Icing's going to be waved off as they deemed the defenseman could have played it at the point. Good move there by uh, Ack uh, Ackerman, and he tries to center it. It's still loose. And a glove save there by Mac Ross, and he'll hold on. And the faceoff will be to the right of the goaltender. Face off controlled by Boyd. He takes matters into his own hands, tries to take a power move of his own right to the goal. Unable to do that. McCombs picked up the mail and shot's going to be right on and another easy save here by Stein. And once again, uh, face it off to the right of the Panther goaltender. Panthers will go on a wholesale line change. And they'll bring Sweeney right back on. And this time he loses a faceoff. So he is human. But gets it right back. Sweeney's going to take the, the draw on a good, oh, big heavy hit there. And Crockett's going to be put on his wallet. Going to be helped out here by Sweeney. And he kicks it back into the attack zone. And once again, State College just going to be content to get that puck back to center here. Chipped off the glass, and that'll go into the defensive zone for State College. Play comes loose to Cassidy. He's got an opportunity here. Oh, and he had Crockett on the off wing here. Oh, and shot in. No goal, and they're going to wave it off on a quick whistle. Oh, my. Sweeney got it between the legs of goaltender Ross. And a quick whistle, and I think a bad break for the Panthers. The referee... Claims to have lost sight of the puck, but it was in plain view. And Sweeney, with about three whacks at it, actually got it between the, the pads of the goaltender. And unfortunately, that play will be waved off on a quick whistle here. But Panthers still clinging to a 1-0 lead here. Sweeney looking a little bit frustrated after that. And I guess you can't blame him. Good outlet pass here. Boy, transition. Boy, this Cassidy, he can see with a third eye here because I tell you, he sees the, the play very well. Again, avoids a check there, too. Play's going to come right back. We're taken by number 81 on another screen shot here, directed in by Andrew Ebert. And another good glove save there by Stein, and he'll hold on. And with 11.41 remaining here in the second, Panthers still one to nothing. Boy, another late change here by the Panthers. And again, the officials just think you may want to try to get control of that. Play will be directed behind the goal where Alibrand will play it, but unable to get it out. A shot's going to go right on. It's loose. And a Bobby Orish move through the goal crease. Speaking of Boston and Bobby Orr, are you still up in Boston, Dave? Atlanta. Atlanta now. With all the traffic. 
formerly from the Flames? The Flames and Thrashers. <laughs> the Flames and Thrashers is right. Can't talk to, can't talk to anyone down there about No, that. nobody knows about hockey. No one cares. Shot right on. Big save again by Stein. And they're peppering here the last couple of minutes here. Be careful here. Good play there by Puccetti. Play comes to Moscone. And again, we're going to have another quick whistle here. I think the net did come off the mooring. And Stein quick to put it back on the uh, peg. And as quick moving as that first period was, is as slow moving as this second is. 11.05 remaining here. A lot of whistles and late changes here. Another big time shot from the corner and a big pad save again by Stein and boy redirecting them neatly into the corner unlike the state college goaltender where he's been kicking those rebounds right back in front. Taken again by Moscone. He's going to try to beat three Panther players. Good defensive effort there by Schmidt, captain of the Panthers this season and he takes matters into his own hands and he dishes it back to center. Shot's going to come all the way on and again Stein just content to hold on here. And both teams will go on a change and with 10.25 remaining here in the second. We'll face it off to the left of the Panther goaltend. Next game will be right back on and away, taking the show on the road will be Monday night against the ever tough Cannon McMillan team. And that's gonna be right in my backyard at South Point. So looking forward to calling a game from the Isoplex. And I think we then have another game that week, Thursday, December the 8th. And that'll be, I believe, at 840. And the Steelers will be on that night. So uh, that'll be a challenge. That game on uh, December the 8th will be at home here against Butler at 840. The Cannon Mac game at South Point will be at 630 on the road. So lots of action coming up in the next week. So tune into your High Definition Panthers television network, Channel 7. 9.29 remaining here in the second. State College Wu with a set play there. But unfortunately, that'll go by the mark. State College player saying that he touched it, but to no avail. And they'll be guilty of a icing play here with 9.22 remaining in the second. Another face-off win there by Sweeney. Oh, and a good redirect ahead here. And we got a little extracurricular here where number four Crockett's going to get involved. Looks like we're going to get some penalty time doled out here. Probably going to... Actually, actually a penalty's just going to go on number 10 here for roughing. And boy, usually they even it up in that situation, but... This must have been his right. He must have been the instigator his right. So, wow. Number 10 for State College, uh, Engelhart. And, boy, the State College bench is not happy about this one. 9-19 remaining here. And the Panthers now on a two-minute penalty, a two-minute minor for roughing. And the Panthers now with a one-man advantage. Boy, tack it on here, boys. Comes back to Alibran where he's looking for his – Second tally of the evening at the point. Blistering shot right on, and that rebound's going to come back to the point. Fakes a shot. Sweeney is. They'll play give and go in the corner. Good redirect there, and boy, a good play there by number 33, and he read that play. He saw that pass coming all the way. Uh, that would be Corey, Corey, Brown, Corey Bond. He'll be now taken by Cassidy, and he'll get ahead of steam going. He'll take it all the way across the... Blue stripe, he'll avoid a check. Play will come into the corner where Ackerman will look to play it. Helped out by Sweeney, but unable to keep it in. And that play will come back to the neutral ice area where Schmidt will play it. Picked up by Sweeney, and he'll try to beat four defensive effort. 
Takes it wide into the corner and a wide shot right on. And a good save by Mac Ross and he'll hold on with 103 remaining in the power play for Upper St. Clair. Well, they're actually going to have Schmidt take the draw here, and he wins it. Keeps Sweeney on the point, taken by Cassidy, and he looks for Sweeney. He's going to tee it up, but he hits it right into the defense of number four, uh, Brown. Right back to Sweeney in the command position. He looks to give it up again. Back to Alibrand, a shot. It's loose. Play comes in all the way to the near board here, and a good effort by State College to get it back to center. Oh, big check there again by Schmidt. And Sweeney will control it over to number 33. And shot going to be right onto the bench. And they'll flag it again with 28 seconds are going to be remaining now in the Panther man advantage. I think the Panthers are 0 for 2 on the power play this evening. And uh, State College with three minor penalties and the Panthers with one. Big face-off win there by State College. They're coming back short-handed, two on one. And there was an errant pass, and that just by the blade of number 86, Daniel Moscone, the big-time scorer for State College. Play is loose, taken by Ackerman. Oh, shot right on to Cassidy, and a big save. And we're going to have another, looks like minor penalty, a hooking call. And my, my, a brilliant play there by Ackerman. He went to the backhand, got it right on the blade of Cassidy, had him beat. And a big save there by Mac Ross. But, boy, State College is going to find themselves guilty of another minor penalty. Number seven here, Derek May, will get the gate. Two minutes for, for hooking. And the Panthers will actually have, Dave, a five-on-three advantage for two seconds. And then they'll go on another man advantage of their own. Looks like we're going to have a timeout here. A very uncharacteristic early timeout called, I believe, by Upper St. Clair. And they're going to gather the troops, figure a very crucial time in the game here with 721 remaining in the second. Panthers look to tally a quick goal here to take that all-important two-goal lead. And again, you set up a play by Coach uh, Gary, and uh, one of the things you do consider, Dave, here is that even though it's two seconds, that's when the gate opens. So, you know, perhaps another four or five seconds before the player actually gets back into the play. Panthers will leave out Ackerman here with Alibrand and Sweeney on defense and Schmidt on the left point and Cassidy on the right point. Big face-off win there by State College and they're going to thwart the five on three and a good effort and they'll get it back to center where Alibrand will look to play it but give away right to Moscone and he's going to look to beat Alibrand uh, and uh, goes into the net. And boy, just a lot of chirping on the bench here. Yeah, and there's something definitely wrong with the clock here. They've got, well, they've got a minute 35, and I don't think 25 seconds elapsed. Maybe it did, but they're questioning the clock here. 6.55 remains here. I can't recall what the penalty time was. Maybe 7.21. That might be right, actually. I think it is. But uh, 6.55 in the uh, second period, 1.35 remains in the man advantage. Yeah, that is right. So look out here. Oh, big save again. Boy, Moscone wins the draw and 
kind of gets it right in the high slot from about 10 feet, and he throws it into the belly of number 29, Stein. But boy, a, yeah, Moscone, just a real playmaker there. And who's on the power play here? Come on, Upper Sinclair. Another face-off win here by Moscone, and he's just commanding. you got to take the body, Dave, on a guy like number 86. If you watch him and his stick play, he'll drive you silly. He'll actually make you look bad. That's where I miss the old number 77, Timmy Shoup. He'll show you something about playing the body. So, Timmy, if you hear this, come on back. Alibrand's going to be content to kick that in, and they're going to shoot it the length of the ice right on where Stein will play it. Boy, Panthers just have not had an opportunity on their fourth man advantage here of the evening, and you've got to be careful because eventually the tide will turn here with the penalty calls. You hope to cash in on one of these early man advantages, but Panthers are so far 0 for 3 and have 58 seconds remaining here in the fourth shorthanded situation for State College. Good face-off win there by the Panthers, where Ackerman will take the control of it and give it to Sweeney, where he'll dump it behind goaltender number 12, Mac Ross. Kind of an odd number for a goaltender. More like a quarterback number 12. Back to the point where Sweeney will look to play it, and he'll defer to number 33. Olibrand shot right on, rebound in front, and Cassidy's going to get his blade held up. He makes a good effort to get it back to Alibrand. Over to the point where Sweeney looks to take the drive. Comes back to the point. Alibrand heads up into the corner, passing it to Cassidy, working the power play extremely well. Good play by Cassidy. Shot by Sweeney into the corner. Is going to be directed off a skate. Takes a heavy hit in the corner. And finally, State College clears it back to center. And that'll do it, folks. Panthers again are going to go over on the power play. 5.20 remains here in the second. Panthers now skating five on five. Shot by Olibrand off the glass right in front of us. Redirected by Boyd. Cassidy been out here on an extended shift. So has Olibrand. Taken into the corner and he's going to get his pocket pick. Be careful here. Got a lot of tired bodies on the ice, Dave. Taken by number 33, uh, Bone. Boyd's going to look to play it into the corner. Alibrand still out there on an extended shift. Player bench just screaming on the Panther bench. All-state college in the attack zone. This is sometimes where you need a good icing, and I think Alibrand's tried to do it, came off a blade, redirected into the corner where McCombs takes it, and he's going to ice the puck, and a good heads-up play there by number 28, McCombs. He saw a lot of tired troops and guys skating to the bench with their heads down. And a good heads up play there again by number 28, McCombs and the Panthers. Take a much needed break and an icing play with 424 remaining here in the second. Face off win again by the Panthers by number two, Boyd. Little giveaway back where Pencrot will lose control of it. He redirects it ahead to Boyd where he'll chip it back to center where it'll be played by number 81, Ebert. The redirect comes right to Woomer. Woomer and Pencrot give and go over to McCombs. He's going to be taken off his blade with a heavy hit there by number 81, Ebert. And you got to like that. McCombs could have taken the wood to one of the players. But, you know, it was a good check. Took his medicine. We're going to have an offside there. Took his medicine and got up and skated away. Too often in hockey, you know, a player gets kind of showed up or good check against him. He feels he has to retaliate with the stick and ends up putting his team in a precarious situation. So good play by number 28. A veteran move for a rookie player. Intelligent player. Very intelligent player. You know, you see, you see good intelligence at this level, and then I watch 
NFL and college players and you know they're going down on a two minute drill and they got a pass and they have no timeouts left and they go to back to the center of the field. I mean when I was playing football <laughs> first thing you want to do is get out of bounds and you sometimes wonder what are they thinking of getting an extra yard and losing 30 35 seconds off the clock. Play taken here by Pencrot. He redirects it ahead and referee was they're going to be a late whistle here, an icing call. Probably was more off sides. Cassidy was in ahead of the play, but the official lost his edge. And boy, this officiating crew battling a little bit here. Another thankless job. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Oh, pulled down right in front. Panthers dodge a bullet there where Ackerman might have got the stick in between the legs of the State College player. Speaking of officiating, wasn't sure what happened with the Upper St. Clair North Allegheny football game, but I heard there was a pretty controversial call in that game late in the first period with a perhaps a guy being out of bounds. Uh-oh, breakaway here by Moscone. Goes to the back end. What a save by Stein. Rebound shot. Oh, and he shoots it over the net. Wow, Big Ben there. I think hit the, uh, the, the, the outside of the post or crossbar, but boy, what an effort there by Stein. They're going to be whistled here for a delayed offside, but Moscone with the shake and bake, and Stein stacked the pads and a big save. The post Gazette had a photo the next day, and the guy was clearly a foot and a half out of bounds. Yeah, uh, Dave saying the Post Gazette had a clear shot of the foot, the foot being out of bounds by about a foot and a half. And I, I had heard that they had replayed it several times at the Heinz Field, so a little disappointing break there for the Panthers. And I think on a closely contested game, and unfortunately, it decides a championship, which makes it even harder to harder pill to swallow yeah that's where you need the instant replay whatever you want to say it is what it is but i look at a play in the world series too where you know where there was a play at first base when st louis and the rangers were involved and it was a blatant out and it turned the corner that's the night i think Pujols hit three home runs and went five for six that game but had that Double play been called, you know, who knows what happens and who knows what happens in the series. One fifty remaining here in the second. Play comes back to center where Boyd will get ahead of steam and he'll look to bank it off the board, but that's going to come off the, the blade where Bone will take a play. Shot's going to go off the mark of, of, uh, of number 21, Schmidt. Going to be picked up here by number two, Boyd. And he looks to backhand it to himself where Leiden's going to play it. All kind of bodies on State College by the bench on the ice. Crockett will take it to Olibrand. He'll dump it the length of the ice. And the Panthers a little confused here, and they'll be guilty of a icing play of their own. And with 113 remaining in the second, Panthers still clinging to a 1-0 lead. Big face-off win there by State College. But that play is going to come to Baradone. Number 48, and he's going to shoot it in. He's going to try to beat the defense there. It'll have to be played by Mack, the goaltender. Mack Ross redirects it to his right. Counting down here in the second with 50 seconds remaining. It comes all the way back in where Pencrot will chip it back, taken at the center ice area by Puchetti. Kind of just in no man's land here. Shot on Stein with another good save. Redirects it into the corner, and with 32 seconds remaining, Panthers unable to get it out. Be careful here. Pencrot looks to play it to Baradone, unable to control, and the mail will be picked up by number 19, Puchetti, as he'll take a heavy shot into the shoulder area. State College comes back on one late last rush here. Dropped off in the corner. 
played by number four, Brown. Shot going to go way wide with three seconds to go. Shot in front, it's loose, and that'll do it. And bodies on the ice, goaltender on the ice, defense on the ice. And a very exciting two first periods of play. So, wow, back and forth. Looks like State College becoming, perhaps, Dave, a little frustrated. Good goaltending by number 29, uh, Stein, tonight, and he's been very sharp. And uh, they're going to get a much-needed rest after 30 minutes of play. So we'll let them go to the locker room. They'll cut the ice, and we'll be back for third period action here in a moment. And here we go. Back for third period action, 15 minutes to go. Panthers lead one to nothing. Ackerman with the lone goal. And now our leading point scorer here on the season. He'll get his fifth goal of the season. And pretty impressive, number 33, having a very nice game offensively and defensively for the Panthers. Stein also with facing many shots here. Kind of a chippy, choppy second period. Very quick moving first period. A lot of icings, a lot of offside plays, a lot of late shifts in the second period. So another big save there by Stein. And boy, he's commanding that goal crease and he'll pass it right back to himself and hold on and we'll face it off to the left of the goaltender with 14-29 remaining in the third got to thaw out a little bit between the second and third and Dave you have no gloves and I think this was the first day I think I brought gloves so a wise move tonight I think you should pack them in the bag or camera once again, another delay here, very similar to the start of the second period here. And finally, they must not have the 10-10 pizza ordered. Very, very slow to drop the puck here. Back to center where Moscone's going to look to play, and he'll headman the pass to number eight. Oh, we're going to get a penalty time dish out here now. Looks like the Panthers are going to be shorthanded. Shot's going to go right through the crease and touched up here by number 18, Cassidy. And we're going to get a minor penalty here doled out against the Panthers. And at the 14.02 mark, State College will go on the power play with a slashing call. And that will go to number 87, Mike Sweeney. 97, excuse me. Sweeney, two minutes for slashing at the 14.02 mark. And the Panthers, the turkey is definitely on the table. Shot going to be redirected and a good play there by Pencrod and helped out again by Cassidy. And he's been all over the ice here today. Good forechecking roll here by number 18. Forces the... Assistant captain to go behind his goaltender where Moscone takes a power move into the slot. Shoots it once again right into the belly of Stein and he cradles it and will hold on. And there is no rebound and with 133 remaining. Stein again commanding the goal. Face off big win there by the Panthers. Going to be directed to number 90. One Ackerman, and he looks to beat the defense where it'll be helped out here by number two, Boyd. Be careful here. Two Panthers trapped down deep, and oh, and that play will get away from State College. Taken by 78, Michael. He'll be unable to control and chip right back to the neutral ice area. Played by number 33, a Bone, and that pass is going to go by the mark. And Schmidt, oh boy, and that was taken in offside. Another out of position call and boy once again you got to be careful here those play should have been whistled down and now the play is still in the attack zone 45 seconds to go in the man advantage played right in front again comes out to the slot into the far point shot right on rebound in front kick cleared to the side finally going to be cleared out of the zone Boy, Panthers dodge a big bullet there. An offside play by State College in ahead of the play, not called. 
and it looks like they kept that play in the zone for about 45 seconds. 20 seconds now remains in the man advantage for State College. Play comes by the left wing where it'll be skated in by number 58, Karras. He's going to get his own rebound. He tries to go back to the point, but the defense was on a line change here where Engelhart will play it. Chipped over to the far corner where Karras will play it. Play comes to the near board here where still going to be kept in. Penalty time is over. Back to skating five on five. Sweeney on the ice. A deflection is going to go by the mark. Play still in the zone. Shot's going to go way wide. Taken by Pencrot. He's going to chip it and gets it out of the zone with a little help by number 28, McCombs. Sweeney will come off the ice. Taken by McCombs. He's also having a real heads-up game here. It comes back to Alibran where he looks to go to defense partner, but Holdcroft will pick it up. Shot on, rebound right in front, and Alibran there to pick it up. Going to bank it off the far board. He's looking for Sweeney. Unfortunately, the Panthers will be called for icing here. And Sweeney had his defense beat ahead of the play, but couldn't get to the puck. It crossed the goal line, and therefore it was icing. And with 11.07 remaining, the Panthers will face it off to the right of goaltender number 29, Stein. Face off controlled by State College, where it'll be redirected into the corner, and a nice effort there by Woomer as he'll clear it to the far board right on the tape of Cassidy. Number 18, a wheel and deal behind the goal, and he'll go to the far board where he'll be chipped in by Woomer again. Play is loose in front where Sweeney looks to redirect it. Good play by Sweeney, and he'll take a power move of his own shot right on all. Good save there by Mac Ross. Again back to the point, and Schmidt with a good effort to drive it down deep where it'll come all the way to the far board where Woomer keeps it in. 10.26 remaining in the third. Finally, play comes back to the neutral ice area all upper St. Clair for the last minute. It'll be taken by Karras. He tries to drive it in. Now taken by Cassidy, and he'll sidestep but get his pocket picked. Taken still, Panthers just doing a great job holding them up at the defense. Going to skate right by Crockett. Be careful here again. Late to the play, a blocker save, and that's going to go into the meshing, and we're going to have another minor penalty here. Another slashing call is going to be issued. And with 9.53, this is kind of what I was warning against here. Boy, the Panthers had four opportunities to score on the power play, and they've given up. Now two minor penalties to the State College team. Another slashing call here. Number 21, Schmidt, will be guilty of the infraction, and the time of the penalty will be at 9.53. <coughs> Back to the point. Oh, my. Shot's going to come right off the skate of number four, 16, Pencrot. Moscone's going to take a shot, goes to the corner. Redirected in front. Moscone drops it back down. He looks to pass it. Nobody home. Good effort there by the Panthers. Oh, and he's tripped. And a good call there. Ackerman's going to draw the tripping penalty, and he had a mini breakaway. And a good heads-up play there by number 91. And they're going to even it up here. Minor penalty goes to number 33, Corey Bone. And at 928, the Panthers once again face a Four on four for a minute 35, and then a 25-second power play of their own. Another big face-off win. If this Panthers are able, Dave, to hold on to this one-nothing lead here, I think it could come down to the face-offs. Panthers have dominated territorially the face-offs in both zones here. Yeah, last game as well, and I even think in the championship game at the Consol Energy Center. So always have been a pretty big strength here for the Panthers. Not sure if they work on that, but boy, Sweeney's been batting about 900 on faceoff wins and wins another one. Back to the point, Alibran's gonna keep that low to the ice, but redirected by 
the State College player, where Pencrot, oh, and he'll avoid a heavy hit. He'll lose a glove, and he's holding his wrist there. Kind of caught him in an awkward position. Pencrot skating without a left glove. He's going to take a heavy hit of Holtcroft into the corner, number 19. Panthers got the better of that exchange. Play comes behind Stein, 56 remaining in the first penalty. Four on four situation. Oh boy, there's gonna be an icing there and I think just a little mini uh, confusion there. Alibrand perhaps might have thought they were still on a shorthanded situation. He drove the puck down deep. And when you're skating four on four, you still have to gain control of the access into the neutral zone past the red stripe. The slicing will be called, and a face-off to the right of goaltender Stein. Taken by Crockett, and he'll redirect it over to the near board here where nobody home but Leiden. And he's going to take a heavy hit and skate across the ice as he'll lose his blade. Intensity picking up both on the physical play by both teams here. Got to take the body here again. Number 86 will make you look silly. The captain for State College here. Boyd's going to try to get... Ahead on the play here, pokes it into the corner and he's gonna lose his edge. He'll get right back up, open ice here. Oh my, you gotta play the body. Boy, Moscone again making people look silly with the moves here. That'll do it, Panthers now on a man advantage for 25 seconds. Play comes back to number 97, Sweeney and he'll look to Play it across the blue stripe. Nobody following him. He'll wrist it into the corner, and that's going to come high and wide. He gets his own rebound. Not sure if there's a mouthpiece on the ice or tape, but there's a black object on the uh, ice. Good play by the Panthers to keep it in. That'll do it. Back to skating five on five. Ackerman's going to take it. Try to beat two or three defensemen. Pushed into the goal, and the net will come off the mooring here, and we'll have a stop and play with 7.18 remaining here in the third. Panthers still again enjoying a one nothing lead. Well, back to the point, another face-off win for the Panthers. The redirect unable to get many second chance opportunities here. Play is being deflected right back into the center ice area, but State College doing an excellent job clearing the zone. Delayed offside where it's chipped in by the Panthers. Fought for in the corner by Cassidy, and he's going to be helped out by Ackerman. Cassidy's going to pick his pocket. Goes to the backhand. Shot right on. Good save by Ross. Kept in by 97 Sweeney, and he'll dump it behind the goal where Ackerman avoids a check. Cassidy mixes it up. Good forechecking here by the Panthers. Finally going to be skated back to center where it'll be played ahead to number eight. Horgus takes a big move and he's pulled down. And we have a tripping call here and a power move by Horgus. And boy, did he take a big move to the goal. I actually thought it might have gone in, but it was redirected into the corner. And once again, the Panthers now would be guilty of their third minor penalty here, a tripping minor to number 33, Olibrand, and that was just uh, a good position by Horgus. He gained control on the defenseman, and actually, you could probably say that was a good penalty by number 33, um, Olibrand, as he was beaten on the play and brought the play player down. So Panthers again here have to kill off a two-minute two minor here, and with 6.16 remaining, State College with a little bit of sense of urgency trying to tie this game back up at one. Good effort there by Crockett. He's just going to chip it back into the goal and 30 seconds have elapsed from this man advantage and State College has finally uh, gained uh, control of the uh, attack zone. Two players are going to try to beat Schmidt with the play. Back to the point where he looks to tee it up. Number 58, all redirected in front. It's loose. Good effort there by Schmidt to clear the zone. Back to the point. Shot in by number seven, May. Cleared into the corner neatly by Stein. And a good effort by Crockett to get it out of the zone. 
Crockett out here on an extended ship. Taken here by number 58, Karras into the corner. They're gonna tie it up with Crockett and Woomer. Be careful here. Oh, shot on score! And boy, he picked the pocket clean. I think Crockett got out there on an extended shift. The thought that between Woomer and Crockett in the corner, they thought the, the play was still in the zone. And boy, State College picked it out, skated neatly to the goal, and he beats Stein on the short side high. And State College gets a power play goal here at the 514 mark. Now they got to get the uh, got to get the penalty time off the board here. 48 seconds should come off the mark, and it does. And Panthers will see what they're made of here with 5:14 remaining in the third. We're knotted at one. State College with a shot right on, and another good save by Stein. Yeah, he just had a feel, and those penalties were just gonna come back to haunt you Dave and boy you, you, you didn't cash in if you look back on this game and we'll have to see where we end but boy you had four opportunities in the first two periods and give up three shorthanded situations it was just a matter of time and they cashed in and a little aggressive play there by number eight Horgus and he created the opportunity here early in the third and tried to get between the pipe and Stein and that will force the goal to come off the mooring and they'll deem that the state college player Hit it off so the play will come outside the zone. Play is taken by Pencrot. He looks to redirect it to Sweeney. And looks like goals are going to be at a premium here tonight. So we'll have to see with four and a half to go if the Panthers are able to get another quick goal here. And we'll have a icing play here. And they'll face it off all the way back in the State College attack area. Well, I was getting ready to give you some post-ice commentary. I'm three for three, and we hadn't had a goal scored since I've been here. So to no avail, we've had a 2 nothing shutout, a 2 nothing shutout, and we were headed to 1-0, one to, one to oh, but State College clears it late and ties it. And we'll see what the Panthers are made of here. Taken off the near glass here, where it'll be played by Schmidt, and he'll be content to just jam it back in the zone here, where played in the corner by Ackerman. Play comes all the way around to the near board, where Holdcroft will play it. A good effort there by Sweeney, as he'll try to beat Holdcroft to the play. Helped out by Ackerman, but State College will win that exchange. Taken here by Bone, and he's going to shoot it high and wide. Stein will be content to glove it. And we'll keep some fresh troops on the ice with 3.51 remaining here in the third. Well, if regulation ends at a 1-1 tie, we'll have a two-minute break and skate to a five-minute sudden death overtime. And the only difference between... That in the NHL is there's no shootout. So conceivably the game could end as a tie. Play goes all the way behind goaltender Mac Ross. Comes into the corner and a good effort there by Boyd. Be careful here, right on the tape of number four Brown. He's gonna check up, it's loose. Right on to Horgus, oh my. Golden opportunity there as number eight Horgus tried to center it but nobody home. Panthers dodging another bullet there. Oh. State College here where Moscone's going to take it. Once again, you've got to take the body here. A deflection's going to go behind the goal. Taken by the captain. He redirects it right in front and a good play by Crockett. He'll clear the zone and icing will be called. And State College putting on the full court press right now with 2.58 remaining in the third. Panthers look like they have a relatively short bench. They've been pretty much been playing with about just two lines tonight. 
probably fatigue could be a factor here late in the third, and we'll have to see how that affects if they can make it to overtime here. Play taken by Sweeney, right on shot. Oh my, and Cassidy had a golden opportunity from 10. I think that hit the arm of goaltender Ross. Right back to Cassidy, he's gonna go to the backhand, controls it into the corner. He'll check up, he looks back to the point. Good effort to get it to Pencrot. Deflected by the defense and number 33 will drive it down deep. Bone still controlled by Upper St. Clair and finally skated out by State College. Taken by Alibrand, he'll chip it right back to center, unable to control his May. And right back to the neutral ice area, it's chipped back into the Panther zone where Alibrand will take it and ram it behind Stein all the way over to defense partner number 16, Pencrot. Heavy hit there by Cassidy on Bone, on Brown. Play is loose but not out, be careful here. Moscone's gonna pick the shot, it's gonna go wide with 150 remaining in the third. Good effort there again by the captain for State College. And finally going to be cleared out by the Panthers back to center. Rink wide pass going to go by the mark. Be careful here. Sweeney's going to lose his edge. And oh, he's going to be called for a late penalty here. And the Panthers are going to be guilty of their fourth minor penalty. We're going to have a hooking minor here on Sweeney. And stop the presses, folks, with 123 remaining in the third. Panthers are going to have to kill another two-minute man disadvantage here. And I wouldn't be surprised if State College uses their one and only timeout here to get some fresh troops on the ice. Yep, and indeed, we do have a timeout here. Very well thought of. You don't commit till the timeout, until the... Official ask you, and you gain a couple extra seconds. Uh, a little disappointing third period here. We'll have to see if we can hold them off and kill another disadvantage here, but I think the fatigue could have been a factor here, Dave. Yeah, there's, uh, again, a sh pretty relatively short bench for the Panthers, and pretty difficult at this level with the AAA ranks to go with two lines most of the evening here, so... A much needed timeout, I think, for both teams here. Yeah, that penalty, good point. I was going to say that, uh, that uh, this penalty would indeed carry over into the overtime period. So with 123 remaining, State College affords the luxury of another 37 seconds in overtime if indeed they cannot score here in the next minute 23. Face off, big win there by Boyd, but Panthers unable to get it out. Boy, they banked it off the far board, but right in control. Here comes State College on a one-timer. What a save. Shot by Horgus again to redirect it. Boy, what a big pad save there by Stein, and he came up big. Horgus had that far corner peg to low to the ice, and Stein with the splits got the right pad on it, and a big-time save as the rebound went into the meshing. And with 110 remaining here, they'll face it off to the left of the Panther goaltender. Face off controlled by the Panthers. Redirected. Oh, tipped right on. Another good save by Stein. Oh, and a point blank shot by Moscone goes wide. All State College here with one minute remaining in the third. Taken again by Moscone. Takes a big move. Shot on. Score. And Moscone's going to tickle the twine. He rams it off the crossbar and it goes in and the Panthers don't know what hit him. Another power play goal late here in the third by number 86. Big time score for State College Moscone. Once again, he just, uh, you just the domination of speed on Moscone. You've got to disrupt his play with the body, Dave. And he's pretty much had his, his fill with the Panthers. And again, he took a big move from the right faceoff circle into the high slot and he just had Stein from 15 at point blank range and, and he sniped him high and with 50 seconds to go here, Panthers now 
have to try to tie this game late here in the third. Yeah, and Stein is definitely off the ice. Panthers now pull the goaltender in favor of an extra attacker. That's going to be chipped back to center here where it'll be gathered in by Cassidy. Panthers skating six forwards against five. 25 seconds to go. Comes into the corner where Schmidt will gamble in on the play. Going to be helped out here by Sweeney. And he's going to be pulled down, and we're going to have a late call here. Wow, with 16 seconds to go, Panthers will go on a... Oh, and a, uh, we got a little... Looks like we might even have a double minor here. I think apparently the State College player might have said something to the officials, so we'll have to see if they put two minutes up. But wouldn't that be an interesting call if there is a double minor and the Panthers were lucky enough to score here? with 16 seconds. They're gonna have seven, now six attackers up front against four. And I'm not sure if there's another penalty time that needs to be put on the board here. The official skating to the scorer box. I think he called two minor penalties here, or it was a two and a 10 minute misconduct, but I think they're gonna leave it as is. 16.8 seconds remains here in the third. And I think it is a four-minute minor, to be honest with you. They took the, there it is, four-minute minor penalty again, a two and two. And, boy, I'll tell you, if the Panthers can score here, they'll have a, oh, a golden opportunity. Cassidy with a shot. Alibrand shot. It's loose. Oh, and Cassidy was right on the doorstep with seven to go. Two brilliant opportunities, Cassidy right on the doorstep. One second to go, and that'll do it, Dave. A big come from behind victory here. A little extracurricular here at center ice. Panthers skate away. Referees get involved here. And State College with an impressive victory here. And number 15's gonna get a late penalty here. He slammed his stick on the ice. Officials went right to the, to the scores. Thing. And again, that might involve a suspension if you get a penalty late in the game, especially after the contest was over. But we'll have to see how that all plays out. Ruby, uh, very animated, got involved with a Panther player and uh, took his stick to the side of the bench and I think took exception there. But a brilliant come from behind victory, a very disappointing loss here for Upper St. Clair. Thought they pretty much had the better of the play had great goaltending, Dave. Alibran with that quick first goal, uh, again, was set to be the, you know, Stein set to be the number one star with Alibran. I thought McCombs had a great game here tonight, number 28, but boy, fatigue was definitely a factor here. Panthers giving up four late penalties in the third period, and uh, to the credit of State College, they cashed in on two of those man advantages. So. Uh, uh, again, a, a very disappointing loss here. Panthers, I thought, were hanging in there very well, especially with the good goaltending and smart heads up play. Uh, but the chippiness and the, and the fatigue, I think, finally took its toll. So a disappointing loss, but again, Panthers played a, a pretty decent game until the last uh, couple of period. We had a couple little mental breakdowns with the minor penalties. So we'll try to regroup here. I'm sure it'll be a disappointing uh, night for the boys and a pleasant ride home on Route 22 for the State College team. So again, for their to their credit, uh, a great come from behind victory for State College and that'll keep them up near the top of the division that they're in. So Panthers again will go down in defeat here and we will be back on Monday night again as we'll take the Panthers High Definition Network on the road to South Point uh, playing the Cannon McMillan team. So for Dave Ambrose, I'm Kirk Carruth signing off tonight on your Panthers television network.